Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm a wee bit more energetic than yesterday, not because the situation has improved. No, no, no. My uh, wife surprised me for my 40th birthday today uh, with a video from uh, somebody that she knows back, back on the West Coast, and it was a good time. Uh, excellent video. But uh, anyway, uh, today has been primarily a good day because I got a part in. A part that I've been waiting for two, maybe three months. It's a power supply, a medical grade power supply to a video processor that basically powers a video tower in one of my cardiovascular operating rooms. And uh, anyway, I've been waiting on this for a long time and thank God the director of this operating room has been very understanding because Normally, when you have a video system down in a cardiovascular room, all hell breaks loose. But not this guy and not this department. They've been awesome. They've been moving their cases around uh, so that it didn't become quite the bother. Well, the part's in today, and tomorrow morning, it's going to get installed in the unit um, and tested out before they even get going for the day. So that made my absolute day. Old work orders just destroy my life. And when I can get one of them off the list, it's a huge sigh of relief. On the negative note, however, I had the meeting today that I've been dreading because anytime somebody says, we'll, we'll talk about this in a, in a meeting, it always infers that your workload is going to increase. And my workload today is increasing dramatically. As it is, I have two technicians looking over 58 operating rooms. And the reason it wasn't a huge, huge meltdown is because I had an excellent anesthesia crew. The, the anesthesia techs, the head anesthesia, the second in charge of the operating rooms was a former anesthesia tech. And those guys know their stuff. And I will always say this, if you work surgical as a, as a biomed, your anesthesia techs and their willingness and their ability to learn will make or break you as a human being, not even as a technician. It'll make or break you as a human being because you will be so busy chasing down the most complete garbage work orders. If they're not willing to help you out or learn, they will ruin your life. But I've got an excellent crew and unfortunately, from here on out, I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I have to do first look on every single anesthesia type of call that comes in. And I have multiple buildings, multiple floors, and anesthesia is in more than just operating rooms. It's in uh, endovascular, uh, the, what is it, angio, neuroangio, a whole bunch of areas that I don't normally go to. Even, even uh, side clinics that are across the street, now me or this other biomed are gonna have to go to. It just doesn't make sense. So I was wore out yesterday because I knew this was gonna happen. I absolutely knew it. Guys, if they say in a meeting that we're gonna talk about this tomorrow, it means no, you're gonna do it. And it doesn't matter what you think, it's just gonna happen. So I've got two biomeds that are gonna be handling 58 operating rooms plus offsite areas, which are like in other buildings and whatnot. It's a massive complex, guys absolutely massive and now I've got all these anesthesia machines and their associated equipment that they want me to do first look on so it's a little bit of a downer but my family is right outside here Let's see if you guys can see them I got booger one and booger two out there they want to see their daddy for his 40th birthday so I'm gonna go uh, say hi to them all but you guys have an excellent day I know I am tomorrow's Friday it's gonna be a good day I'm gonna get my video processor up and going Thanks for watching, guys.